What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, subscribe. I feel so like out of my groove because I haven't like actually sit down and like talk to you guys in like a few weeks I feel like. But over the past couple of weeks I have just been like kind of vlogging like random footage like me and my mom went to go get a new mirror at Home Goods for my room because I didn't have a full length mirror. And honestly, you know what? It was messing me up. I need to like be able to see my outfits. <laughs> in full so thankfully my mom agreed and we went to home goods got a new mirror it's really cute um i think we got it for like 60 dollars, and it matches the room really nicely and i had had that spot like picked out for a while so i'm really happy with the way it looks and now i have a full length mirror which is like ooh, ooh. ladies and gentlemen her ooh. And then here's what it looks like from the side. You know, it's kind of subtle. And then, look at her. Finally, a full length mirror. I've been waiting for this day. I'm really excited. A few days before that, we went to this like botanical gardens here in Naples. And that was sick. That was so pretty. I didn't even know that place existed here. Like I didn't even know that they had like a botanical gardens. And it was only like 15 minutes from our house. And it was gorgeous. I feel like the past month, like January just flew by. I feel like, I feel like I was like hibernating a little bit. I like didn't really do anything besides like work and read. And that's it, you know? Like I wasn't really in the mood to like film myself, I guess. Cause I don't know, yeah, you know, I feel like I just kind of went through that phase of like missing my friends, missing like normal, normal life, you know? Like, and I'm sure we all go through those phases. Um, but yeah. I feel like it's just been like getting to me more so lately than usual, you know? But we're on the come up, you know? We're working through it. Yeah, so I just wanted to bring you guys along with me. I think I might um, like later in the vlog do a little like books I read in January section um, because I've been reading a lot. Like that's one of the only things that I do with my time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and Sending my love. Does it suit you? Your velvet dress is slipping off Would you stay with me? It's coming through ya Never knew ya Never Just ignore my hair today because I'm having like just an off hair day So stick with me I'm in a much better mood than I was yesterday 
and um, I wanted to show you guys all of the books I read this January. Let's, I'm gonna pull up my Goodreads because that's where, if you don't follow me, you should on my Goodreads. Um, that is where I post like quick little, like one or two sentences of what I think of the book. Um, and I feel like I keep it pretty updated like when I read books. Except for lately, I've been a little off my game lately, but let's start with the first book that I read in January, which is The Unhoneymooners. I mentioned this in a vlog that I did a few weeks ago, and you know guys, it wasn't my favorite. I just, I rated it a 3 out of 5. It was just not my kind of book. I just feel like it was a little rushed storyline was just not it for me you know like enemies to lovers but it's not the kind of like gushiness that you feel when you're reading the hating game you know what I mean so that's why this book was a, a little lackluster for me you know just it just wasn't it so after I quickly finished that one because I was like on to the next I read more than words um this one I liked better than the unhoneymooners but I didn't like adore it, you know what I mean? Like I didn't like love it. I was just kind of like, okay, this is cute. Like it's a cute storyline. I just feel like nothing really like stands out about it. Not like her first book. Her first book, The Light We Lost was like, oh, I'll remember that book for a long time. So on to a book that I definitely recommend is An American Marriage. I literally read this you guys in probably like a weekend. Like I think I started on like a Friday, ended it on like a Saturday or like a Sunday probably. This book was, I feel like this book is going to be like a classic. Like I think everyone's going to read this book. I just feel like this book should be, it should be everywhere, you know? Like this is such a good storyline, but also it's like heartbreakingly real and I just... I definitely recommend it and it's a quick read too like you get really invested in this book and it's just so well written highly recommend that one then we have a book that i don't have on me because my mom is reading it it's called the guest list this one you guys i feel like this one's almost a five out of five but that one is like a wild ride they're on like this like deserted island and not like deserted island like they're having it's like a wedding but they're on this island in like ireland and one of the guests like gets murdered and then like the whole book you're trying to figure out like who it is and then like you have like the different perspectives of like all the people at the wedding and it's just like what the fuck is going on oh. and then by the end you're like oh my god this is crazy love that book that book I was like intensely reading and then my sister read it and she was like just as into it as I was. So yeah, if you're looking for like a thriller, that is a good book. But it's not like a gory kind of thriller, it's more of like a keeping you on your toes type of thriller. So next up, after that, I read literally one of my favorite books, I think of like my new favorite book of all time, which is The Midnight Library, you guys. Oh my god so good it's literally okay so essentially what the midnight library is is that like in between life and death there's a midnight library and you get to go in and like redo some of your regrets in life and see what life would have been like if you had chosen a different path and oh my god it is just it teaches you life lessons but also it's so entertaining and oh my god like that is why i chose it for my february book club book of the month so if you're part of the book club you should be reading it right now so i'm not gonna give any spoilers um and if you want to be a part of the book club it's not too late it's a really quick read i swear i only read it i think i read it in like i think i wanted this one to last so i'll say i read this in like four days because I was just like, I knew as I was reading it that this was gonna be my new favorite book. Cause I was like, oh, it's so good. And it just like, it gives you perspective on life. And I feel like, especially being in like that post-grad like stage of life, you know, like a fresh, fresh out of college kind of, it was definitely a good book to read for that. So also, which brings me to another side point that I wanted to talk about. I was thinking about, and let me know your thoughts on this. I was thinking about maybe making a video of like advice 
for people graduating this year because I feel like going through like fresh po like post-grad like right out of college with the pandemic and everything was definitely different than like most people's post-grad experiences so let me know if that would be something that you'd be interested in um I definitely have a lot to say about it so keep your eyes out for that I think it probably I'll probably make this more of like a thought out video so it probably won't even be made into like March April anyway side note let's get into the book I am two books actually I'm currently reading so I call this like my day and night book this is my day book this is my night book so <laughs> my day book is letting go the path of surrender or the pathway of surrender by David Hawkins and I started reading this book because um, someone recommended it to me I forget who it was but I have kind of like been off my like self-helpy book type of you know genre I haven't really read a lot of them just because I feel like I read most of like the ones that are like really well known so and I don't really like to like overwhelm myself with like that kind of genre because it can be a little anxiety inducing I don't know I feel like sometimes it can be like a little much so that's why I decided to kind of like take my time with this one my night book this book is crazy, you guys. It's The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This is a hefty book. This is like 400 pages. And honestly, I didn't really like get into it, get into it until like the 100th page, I wanna say. Because if you read this book, there's like something in the plot that happens that you're like, oh my God. And then after that happens, I was invested. Essentially, she makes a deal with the devil or the darkness, whatever you wanna call it. And she wants to be free, but the catch is that no one will remember her. So it kind of takes you through like her life. And yeah, it's just, it's a really well, well written story. And I already know that I'm gonna recommend this to you guys. So that is all for my January reads. Um, I did post a poll on my YouTube community page if you guys wanted to see this and you guys did so I'll definitely make this a habit of like you know sitting down and just going through all the books that I read in a month some months are probably gonna be like not that many books this month I feel like was kind of a lot like I feel like I got through a lot of books in a short amount of time so we'll see what February holds let me know what books you guys have read this month if you have any recommendations for me let me know I'm always open to more recommendations so yeah I'll check in with you guys later